Public Access TV, the final frontier. Join me and the good cyber ship in Mendham.com in this desperate voyage through the dense space of human understanding to seek the grand promise of progress, to go to a truth that no TV show has gone to before. It's in Mendham.com, the TV show. Yes, it's a really badly made TV show. And uh, maybe it uh, will give you a bad headache. But uh, you are probably too curious to change the channel. So now, uh, without further bad singing, it's in Mendham.com, the TV show. Not the right person there. Or maybe that's a demand. demand. Maybe in one place, right. or demand. the demand is right. there in another place. It isn't. So you can right. have the best laid plans, have a very reasonable, right. acceptable Which way to do why it. But if people don't want it, right. why would you it mandate not, it? it that, may that's not, sort of the point. It may not work. Or on a federal, it, it may not. It may not. Who's, who's advocating a mandate? Well, we were talking about we should have a separate a federal system. A federal yeah. system of like a. I know, but it's not mandated. It's, it's not being forced. No, right, right. It's still. not being forced. It's just it's alongside it. It but, would be mandated to implement it, though. Exactly. To create it, right, right, right. right. But if nobody wants it, nobody uses it, and it fails in the town next to Cuts Town. Even right, right. Then who's picking up? Okay, well, what's the definition of failure? Don't all public libraries fail in a way? Well, okay, I mean, they just take up a bunch of public money, and what do they give us in return? What do they give you books. Okay, so if, no one, if no one uses the library, if no one walks into the library and no one uses it, well, what, what, what are you getting at when you say, I, I, well, I'm sure the public employees working at it probably have a <laughs> clause in their contract that says it doesn't matter if no one's using it, you're still going to hire me to stand here. Um, but regardless, I'm just saying, as an institution, we, we're not so draconian about forcing the library to, to fund itself or, or to, to be all these things you're saying that well, this thing would have to difference. be. I'm saying, look, we can subsidize the internet, though. And if we lose a little bit of money because we made a stupid expense, essentially, essentially, to start, I say, he's I saying, say we, investment, I put say, initial investment. I in. say we don't lose anything and by any, fails, any money we put into this ed technology. We're going to get back. You know, tenfold, and even if it doesn't. No, not necessarily. Well, if it doesn't well, get used, if it doesn't get implemented correctly, that money can be wasted. But, but that's, but that's where, if it fails, you let it but fail. For everyone that fails, fails, like I said, I can hire ten people to do something, and if only one of them succeeds, I win, right? The circumstances like that, you know what I'm saying? No, if you pay ten people to do something, and one guy did his part correctly, you pay ten times well, what that guy, well, what that guy it, should be doing. I'm going to give the equation to you a better way. Let's say the thing that has to get done is going to pay off two hundred dollars, okay? Yeah. And so that's the project, right? And I'll get two hundred dollars when it's done correctly. And statistically, one out of ten people will do it correctly. Okay. And I pay each one of these ten people one dollar. Okay. I'm guaranteed to get my two hundred dollars because one of the ten is going to do it. Well, if you sell, okay. And so I only invested ten dollars. I'm going to guarantee my two hundred dollar profit because one of those people is going to do that the is thing a right. very very theoretical thing. I could turn that around and say, okay, you've got ten people. You have to pay fifty dollars to get this done. Right, but I'm saying and if only I one of them agree. gets it done, well, I wouldn't make any sense. Paid, uh, Why would I suggest you that we try to house? You pay uh, ten people. That's what I'm saying to you, though. Is that I think investments in the internet are more likely to return a tenfold profit. Than they are to return no profit. As soon as you get some public money on the internet, almost guaranteed to fund. When did I never use those words? I never said let's have a public it's funded not, no, internet. It's not publicly funded. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's the capital, and the initial I'm capital saying, gets I'm started. I'm saying you take is, a little is, tiny is, bit of money for one segment of the internet, which is the navigation, which is the fundamental part of the internet. Okay? Oh, we're by, the government already owns half the piping of the internet. Okay, I mean, right, the, the big well, lines and no, the big trains. Right, that's, 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 that's all phased into... Well, the big computers, the big computers, <laughs> the big computers <laughs> they're doing all the switching, they're not... They AT&T, they're, 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 they're Okay, well, they were. They were. They were many, many years ago. Yeah, they were. I won't point right, they were. Well, I know, even five years ago they were, I think. No. Six years ago? No, 93. Go back to 93 and 94. Go back to what's the that organization that's in charge of all this stuff? Oh, I can. No, no, no. Okay, no, that's right. I can still. Okay, right. Yeah, no, no, he's right. He's right. Yeah. They don't actually own the pipes, though. Yeah, they don't own the pipes. They regulate the distribution. Well, I'm just saying that the government had 
the, the government has, has the responsibility control. over <laughs> these computers, and they even mandated that these foreign yeah. countries couldn't have control. Yeah, they won't let go. Well, isn't isn't right, I, I, I can go. these days pretty much universally reviled for uh, not progressing Yes, it's forward. universally reviled by me for creating an <laughs> insane domain structure where you let a bunch I, of resellers... I can doesn't it's control like, the domain structure. Sure Those are two totally different no, organizations. They're in charge of who is database. They're in charge of... I can's in charge yes, of that? Or, yes. uh, I'm not sure... It's managed, right. it's managed by Network Solutions who can sell other contracts. You know, because they were the original domain provider. Well, I, I think, think anybody can okay. sell. Like, anybody I, I can get into okay. sell. Okay. My, uh, but, my yeah, there still probably is there. one organization. I, I think the way it works is there's one organization that controls it. They're and, the regulatory and, organization. Right, right. They're the regulatory they organization. Regulate and then, the essentially, other database. companies sell domain names, but it still all goes back to you know, I kind one of, I, Yeah, but they only get, you know, or one entity, I, I think sorry, it's $1.25 off the domain price, okay? And then the resellers can make whatever they want, okay? And so it's, it's you know, one, you know, one-tenth of the money is going to the company that's maintaining the database. But that's regardless of that. We won't go, we won't already, we already killed that subject. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, it's interesting just to, like I said, that the line between you know how you know government is a bad word in many ways. I agree, but there's this there's, there's structures that are you know corporate isn't a great word either. No, it's not. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm and not somewhere this. between these two forces, somewhere in this area that's not in those two camps, has got to be where we live. Yeah. Well, I think the government should do more of setting the rules instead of running the show. The government should set I think the regulations. Finance, and I think they kind of do pro 